Good evening, people. Hello, Claudia. Hey, good evening, everyone. Hello, hello. I have Berenice, Maria, Maribel, Claudia, and Edgar. How's everything there? Hey, can you listen to me, people? Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay. Hopefully... We are not going to have any trouble. Hey, over here, it's raining. I don't know if it's raining there also. Yes, it's raining. It's raining. Oh, hopefully, we're not going to have any problem tonight. Okay, so we're going to try to take advantage of time and to be concentrated because it's kind of difficult to pay, to pay attention when it's raining heavily. But it's possible, right? Okay, Maria, good evening. Maribel, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Okay, good evening. Oscar, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Maribel, good evening. Claudia, good evening. Oscar. Okay, okay, Oscar, so it's raining there. And also you have Norma. Actually, it's 8 o'clock, okay? People are just getting into the class. I will check the list at the end. I have three, five, eight people. Eight people, and there's a message in the chat. Okay. All right, okay, good. So, let me see. Let's wait a little bit. I only have... No, yes, I have nine people, and still... Uh, waiting for the rest of the people. Norma got into the class. Daniel got into the class. Hello, Daniel. Hello. Hey, Good Daniel, is, is it raining there? Good evening. Raining. Not really? Mm. <laughs> raining is it, day. Oh, yeah. yeah. Is it raining there? Mm. El, la tarea de hoy. No, uh, uh, if, it's, if it is raining, está lloviendo por ahí, Daniel. Ah, perdón. Yes. It's yes, raining, raining there. Okay, so let's yes. get concentrated. <laughs> let's get concentrated because, you know, uh, well, when, when it rains, 
everything right. becomes a, a, I mean, we tend to face some problems, right? So hopefully tonight we're not going to have any trouble, any problem with the internet or with the electricity. <laughs> hopefully we're not going to have those kind of problems, okay? Hopefully. Okay, welcome people. I'm really glad to see you in the class, okay? So be ready with the with something that you have learned for, I mean, for the group, maybe a message, a piece of advice. Ronan says, okay, Ronan. All right. So I will try to remember, Ronan, about it. Hi, teacher. Hello, Claudia. Hola. Hello, hello. Okay. Now, which checklist attendance, you know, that's a, that is the first step. I usually do just before getting into the activities tonight. Tonight, tonight. Okay, remember say, to say hello, to say good, good evening. <gasps> hey, today is July the 4th. Okay, so Aiden, Belen, Claudia. Hello. Da hello, hello, Daniel. Present teacher. Okay, Dina. I know uh, Maribel is there, right? Edgar? Yeah. Yeah. Edgar also is there. Okay, Gladys? Present. Good. Jonathan? Maria Elba? I saw, I remember. Okay, yeah. Okay, Mario Cristobal. Oops. Mario Cristobal is not over here yet. Berenice. Yeah, I'm here. Okay, Michael. Aníbal. Xiomara. Norma, I know Norma is over here. Y Oscar and. Yeah, Oscar Antonio, I know Oscar is, is is listening now, and also Ronan, right? Ronan, Teresa Maria, and Vera Liz. Uh, okay, very good. Okay, now welcome, now yes, so we're going to go over the activities as soon as possible. We are, hey, Jonathan, is, hey, Jonathan. Can, can you speak now, Jonathan? Teresa is also here. Good evening. Okay. Yes. Good evening. Okay. Excellent. Jonathan. Jonathan, so we're here and also Teresa, right? Good. Oh yes. It's quite good. So hey, listen, if you if you face some problems with the internet or with electricity. Just let us know in the in the WhatsApp group, okay? So that we can we can know that you are just facing some problems, okay? Uh, you know, this is the th week, third, third week, okay? About basic English too. So we are missing only one, one week, okay? This week and the next week. So actually today is Tuesday. Okay, so we're gonna miss Good evening, Veralis. Good evening. I saw I saw the message. So we have we have a lot of things to do during the week, and I hope that you have been like investigating some phrases, some grammatical structure. I don't remember who exactly uh typed to, to today morning. Uh, I think it was you, right, Veranice, asking for some extra exercises about grammar exercise. What? Okay, so, well, listen, we're going to try, I will, I will try to speak aloud, okay, or louder. I will try to speak louder so that you can listen to me carefully. We're going to go over directly to the top, to the, to the, to the exercises, okay? And later, later we're going to uh, work, we're going to talk about what's coming. Okay. Well, Yesterday, we were talking about present continuous meaning future. Yes or no? 
And we were talking, or we were saying that uh, there is a structure that we need to re that we need to respect, right? Like, for example, Jonathan and I driving to USA next Saturday. Next Saturday, what is this? R. Yeah. R. Okay, R. R. This is present continuous meaning future, right? It says next Saturday. Today is Tuesday, right? So, and it says next Saturday. Yeah. So, it's going to be for the weekend. Now, number two, they are tomorrow. They are working Nothing. tomorrow. Yeah, actually, it's this one, right? Nothing. So, they are working tomorrow. They are working tomorrow. Number three, to the party at 7 p.m. I am coming to the party at Seven p.m. I am coming to the party at seven p.m. Number four, Guillermo to the bank tomorrow. He's going to the bank tomorrow. He's going to the bank tomorrow. And the last one, they are meeting next Monday. They are having a meeting next Monday. Okay. Now, hopefully, espero que todos lo hayan completado, okay, en la plataforma. Ok, acá nada más pues lo reafirmamos, pero el trabajo debe estar hecho en la plataforma, ok, we're going to check it. Ok, oh, we had some problems, so we will see what, what happened there. Ok, Jonathan and I are, very good, are driving to USA. Two. They are. Three options. Solo es working. 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 Are working. Solo working. It's the problem was that we have R here, yeah, right? Tomorrow. Yeah, so we cannot have double double bird to be, right? So, but that was not a that was not a a mistake. Actually, <clears throat> sorry. Sometimes the platform presents some some exercises that need to be uh, corrected. So that's why I thought it was possible to have the second one, but it was really good. So I will I will send it again so that we can get a ten. Okay. Now yes, right? That was fantastic. Good. So just just to start, okay, we're gonna see this. Okay, I will share this. Okay, I will share it in the chat. I share it in the chat, and also we share it in the WhatsApp group. Okay, because I know that. For oh. you is like, let's see. Yeah, I think it's over here, right? Yeah. Okay. Now you got it in both uh, sides. Okay, so this is a conversation, okay? There is a conversation between Hannah and Daniel, right? And we're gonna see the grammar we were studying yesterday. So we're gonna listen to it. And then we're gonna see some grammar in here, then we're gonna solve the quiz, okay? We're gonna go uh, very fast in this activity because I have, uh, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six activities to be developed tonight. So we have a lot of work to do. Listen carefully. Hello. Hello, come in. Um, where is everyone? Do you do you listen uh, to it? Well, everyone Hello? is doing something Hello, right come now. Come in. Oh, Sorry, um, do you listen to it? Really? Where's your mom? Okay, give me a second, please. Uh, I think oh, really? she's shopping. Where's your mom? She might. Um, my mom she's getting the clothes. I don't know, but something happened then. Well, I will try once again. Yep. Okay. Huh? No, no, no. I, I will try once again. Let me see sound cloud. Sound cloud. Well, if you do not listen that well over here, so you know, you know the link is in the in the in the WhatsApp group, right? So you can listen to it perfectly, maybe by using your cell phone. But I will play it, okay, so that we can listen to the conversation. Here we go. Hello. Hello. Come in. Um, where is everyone? Uh, well, everyone is doing something right now. Oh, really? Where's your mom? Uh, my mom, she's at the mall. Uh, I think she's shopping. She might, she's, I think she's getting the groceries for the week. Oh, how about your dad? Well, 
every weekend he goes to the country club, so I think he's playing golf with his friends now. Where's your brother and sister? Uh, my brother, he's upstairs. Uh, I think he's probably sleeping or playing video games, as he always did. Um, and my sister, she's at school, uh, and she's playing soccer because she has a game today. Oh, really? When does the game start? I think in 20 or 30 minutes. Let's go watch it. Really? That sounds fun. Let's go. All right. So that's the conversation, right? So it's not that difficult. But what I really like about this conversation is that we can see both. Okay. So if I say this, how do you say this in English? Hello. 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 Okay. How do you say this? Hello. Hello. Come here. Coming. Okay, what is this? Coming. In. Coming. What is it? Mm. Nos vamos a poner un poquito gra gramáticos, ¿ok? Mm -hmm. So, quiero que me vayan diciendo que, que, como, que, qué estructura es lo que yo voy a ir señalando. Mm -hmm. Coming. Coming. Todo lo que yo voy a ir señalando ya lo estudiamos, ¿ok? Imperative. Ah, pretty good. That's a command. That's an, imp uh, uh, an imperative. Now, what is this? That is a command. Come, come in. Command. What is this? Where is everyone? Wow. Yeah, the, the, the pronunciation, pretty good, Jonathan. Thank you. Where's everyone? So, but what is grammatically talking? What is the structure? Donde están los demás? Yeah, but grammatically, what are we using over no. here? No, nos vamos a poner un poquito como así como gramaticales, a ver que, 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 cómo es que le llamamos a, a ciertas estructuras que ya hemos estado estudiando, ¿ok? So, first everyone. A question. Double H. Uh, 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 H question. It's a double H question with. Ver to be. With the ver to be. All right. So, now in here. Everyone is doing something right now. Good. Well, everyone is doing something right now. Grammatical structure. Present continuous. Present continuous. Doing something right now. Excellent. Talking or, or, or describing something uh, that the person is doing at the moment, not talking. So pretty good. What is this? Where's your mom? Your mom. Ah, oh, really? Where's your mom? Really? Uh -huh. Yeah. And question to me. Yeah, it's a verb to be. Okay, verb to be, double H question, uh, using the verb to be. What is this? Uh, okay, now uh, I think Jonathan is practicing his pronunciation. Okay, Jonathan, go ahead. My mom? Yeah. She's out of the mall. She's out of the mall. I think she's she's shopping. I think she's uh, getting, getting the, the groceries for the week. Yeah, I think she's shopping. Okay, now listen to this part because we are mm -hmm. practicing at the same time, right? I ha I have told you that when you have S, S over here, then you are going to pronounce as one S. Yes or no? She's shopping. She's shopping. Hey, she's shopping. She's um, shopping, yeah. all right? It's not necessary for you to say she's shopping. She okay, but it's, 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 it's okay, but listen, when you speak quickly, you tend to use only one S, okay? But that was quite good. I really like the way you are pronouncing, Jonathan. Now, if you want to help Jonathan to read, so this is your opportunity, people, okay? So, well, so what? what is this? What, what, what grammar do you see there? Mm -hmm. um, so we... Uh, present continue. Uh, 
Do you see present continuous over here only in this no, in this it expression? It's cheat shopping present continuous. No, but only over here. She's of the mall. Yeah, she's of the mall. Simple present. Simple present of the verb. This is the, the present form of the verb be. Uh -huh. And do you remember about this? Preposition. Preposition of? Preposition. Preposition. The lugar. Yeah, exactly. Hey, Michael, is that Michael? Michael, you're talking now, right? Yes. Excellent, <laughs> Michael. I can see you're very concentrated. Pretty good. Now, what is this? Why? Why? Uh, I have meaning future or at the moment I'm talking. Hello, good night. <laughs> hello, hello. Hello. Now, present continue. All right. So it's for the future or, or it, the action is happening now? Happening now. Happening now, right? Uh, uh, what about this? What is this? Okay. What is this? Yes. For the week. Okay. I think you have answer. Yeah, but what, what is it? Grammatically talking. <laughs> okay. Grammar, 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 okay? okay. Verb to be. Is this a verb to be? Present no. same. Yeah, don't get confused because the verb to be is this one, right? Am, um, is, and uh. are. Yeah, do we have the verb to be over there? Yes or no? Yes. No, right. The verb to be? Uh-uh. That is the verb think. Think yeah. is the verb, right? So don't get confused. Now, this is simple present. Now, what else do we have here? Now, we're going to analyze it only once. Okay? So it's because it's going to take... Uh, she's getting some groceries. She's getting the groceries. Okay? I think. What is this? <laughs> Story. Simple present. Simple present. Simple present. Um, continue. Present continuous, right? From the future. Yeah, present continuous. What is this? Time expression every weekend. Excellent. Time expression. What about this? Simple present. Simple present. Simple present. Third person, right? Third person. Uh, simple yeah. present. What about this? Mm. Present continuous. Present continuous. Hey, what happened to Jonathan? Oh, uh, Jonathan, you, you didn't continue reading. Can somebody help Jonathan? Oh, and, well, every weekend he goes to the country club. So I think he's, ¿verdad? Es que no, eh, por donde dice la opción de grabar vista, pero he's playing golf uh, with... Sorry, 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 sorry. That was my fault. Give me a second, give me a second. Hey, where is it? I lost it. <laughs> <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> what did I do? Give me a second because I need to get it. I won't give up. Okay, now yes, right? Let's yeah. it here. So I'm sorry. Okay. Now, now is, is that better? <laughs> is that better? Um, see? Yeah, okay. So mm. let me see. So, yeah, so yeah. This still was the part, yeah. right? No, but, uh, uh, Ah, it was this one, right? Well, uh -huh. it's correct. Bueno, uh, well, every weekend he goes to the country club. So I think he's playing golf with his friend now. Excellent. Pretty good. Where is this? Question. It's a question with the verb to be, right? Question. Where's your brother and sister? Upstairs. Arriba. Yeah. No, no. yeah, he's upstairs. 
Yeah, but what's the grammar? Subiendo las escaleras. Yeah, but, but what is the grammar? Grammar, grammar. Presente continuo. Present continuo. Present continuous. Michael, are you sure? But listen, no. listen, okay. Michael. Listen, Michael. Okay. So I'm trying to, if we use present continuous, we have subject. Uh, we have what else do we have? Start plus ember. the verb to be plus in uh, okay plus complement, so, right? Yeah. Plus complement. So you need to be careful with it. So it is not necessary that you know that you, I mean, that, that you become a grammarian, right? But it's necessary that you identify the structure. Okay. So he's upstairs. This is the simple present of the verb be once again. Now, over here, oops, sorry. Over here. Present continue. Present continue. Okay, what about this? Present simple. Present simple, very good. What about this? Continue. continue. Present continue. Hey, she's playing soccer because she has a game today. Okay, what, what about this one? Present, 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 simple. simple present, very good. Simple present, let's go watch. Okay, pretty good. Now, uh, well, tell me, Michael. No. No. Okay. No, okay, so uh, listen, I need two people, only two people to read it once again. Okay, only two. And then to see the grammar and finally see the quiz because you know, time is running. I need only two people, two people quickly, please. I need two people, two volunteers to read it. Two volunteers, Jonathan? Yeah. Oh, and Maria, pretty good. Ah, Berenice is ready. Maria, do you, do you want to try? Yes. Okay. So, so uh, uh, Jonathan, why don't you help us later with another exercise? So we're gonna listen to Berenice and Maria. Thank you, Jonathan. Okay, Berenice, you start. Yeah. Okay. Hello. Hello. Come in. Where is everyone? Well, ever young is doing something right now. Oh, really? Where's your mom? My mom? She's at the, uh, the mall. I think she's shopping. I think she's getting the groceries for the week. Oh, what about your dad? Well, every weekend he goes to the country club. So I think she's playing go with his friend now. What is your brother and sister? My brother, he's upstar. Uh, I think he's probably sleeping or playing video game, as he always does. And my sister, she's at school. She's playing soccer because she has a game today. Oh, really? When does the game start? I think in 20 or 30 minutes. Oh, let's go to watch it. Really? That sounds fine. Let's e go. Excellent. Quite good. Now, quite good. Now, there are some, some expressions that it caught my attention when you were like, remember about the article da, da. You say da, uh, when you, you say da, when you have a consonant, mm -hmm. right? Remember, da, mm -hmm. When you have a consonant, da. When you have, for example, a, a, a vowel at the beginning, you say d. D apple, da mo. D apple, da mo. Okay? Remember about it. Something else. 
try to try to practice this this word a lot. Okay, this is for everybody. Okay, I think I think I think. Okay, okay. so if you see this this verb, si buscan en el diccionario, se van a ver, fijar que en los símbolos que aparecen ahí va 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 a haber uno como este. Okay. ¿Qué implica cuando vean ese símbolo en el diccionario? Es que la pronunciación de la TH lo van a hacer poniendo su lengua en medio de los dientes de arriba y los dientes de abajo. Y de ahí dice think, think. ¿Ok? Think. Think. Cuesta, cuesta acostumbrarse al sonido, pero es necesario. ¿Ok? Es necesario. Think. I think. I think. Yeah. Thank you. No, esto no va a sonar como una T. No, no. Esto no va a sonar como T. Thank okay, you. keep it in mind, please. But that was quite good. Estuvo genial, la verdad. Let's see. Okay. Quiet, quiet, a little bit quickly. Vamos, vamos rápido, okay? Tengo algunas actividades por ahí programadas. Now, we have questions. Hey, can you read the question? Help me to read, please. What is every time? Okay. Uh, I, something else I saw. Algo más que me fijé también. Everyone. Okay. So say everyone. Everyone. What is everyone doing? What is everyone doing? Everyone. Pretty good. Thank you, Berenice. Now, what about the next one, people? What is your sister doing? Hey, what is your sister doing? Good. What about this one? What is your dad doing? Okay, what is your dad doing? Now, question with present continuous. We are just identifying. See next extra example. Okay, uh, can somebody help me, please, to read this? Everyone is doing something. Everyone is doing something. Okay, next one. Okay, help me to read. I'm checking he, your pronunciation. She's studying at, at the school. She's studying at school. Next one. He's working at home. He's working at home. Negative. Yes. She's not, not cooking. cooking. She's not cooking now. She's not playing video games now. She's not playing video games now. No. It's not working. It's not working, it's not today. working today. It's a, look, misspelling, right? <laughs> yes, no. Yeah, it's not working today. Perdonemos a la, a la plataforma. Okay? <laughs> now, just no questions. Is she playing today? Is she playing today? Hey, now this is a good example. This is a good example para que vean que hasta las personas que son creadoras de contenido algunas veces se equivocan. El teacher se equivoca algunas veces. O sea, equivocarse no, no tiene nada de malo. Lo malo sería que siguiéramos eh, repitiendo los mismos errores. Eso sí sería malo. Uh -huh. Ok. No. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Is she playing today? Uh, ¿Is she playing today? ¿Is she getting ready? Is he getting ready? And I remember, is he, is he, is he getting okay. ready? Are they really waiting for me? Are they waiting Are for they me? Waiting? Now, show responses. Oh, that I know that. No, 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 that, that I know. Not that I know. Oh. I, I hope, hope so. so. I hope so. I think so. I think so. I think so. <laughs> Good. I think so. I think so. So let's see. Quiz very quickly. What is mom doing? Cooking, shopping, or dancing? She's a shopping. She shopping. is shopping. shopping. What is dad doing? What is dad doing? Working, sleeping, Working, or golfing? 
He is golfing. Uh, he's golfing? Oh, he is he golfing? Well, we're gonna yeah, so we're gonna see it later. What is he probably doing? Studying, playing soccer, playing video games? Right. Studying? Play video games. Uh, playing video games, all right. So what is his sister doing? Studying at school, playing soccer, playing video games? Studying. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna see the answer, we're gonna check. So what was what's the problem on here? What where, where we will see. Okay, so we got a mistake, right? So what is his mom doing? She's shopping. So what is that doing? He's golfing. What is his brother probably doing? Uh, he he's probably playing video games. No, playing not playing soccer. Let's see if it, if it got no. I mean this one is okay, right? So yeah. it's playing video games. The problem is with the number four. Oh, here we have the problem, right? So what is his sister doing? Playing soccer, or studying. So it says it's playing soccer, right? Soccer. Yeah, playing soccer. Okay, now yes. Okay, so this is an example about a conversation on present simple, present continuum. Okay, so we are just, uh, ya calentamos un poco. Vamos con lo siguiente. <clears throat> Okay, so this is a page number 30, 31, okay, in, in your PDF, okay? So over here, you, you, you will see the link about Daniel, Daniel and Hannah, right? So the one that we just saw. And there is also a conversation over here. So we're going to identify. Now, we saw grammar in the grammar section of the exercise. But over here, uh, and also in the conversation, and we have some more, some, I mean, another conversation in which we are using uh, the present continuous, right? And also, I don't know if we, if we, if we have the verb to be, I, I, and also about the, the simple present. Okay, in this part, which grammar do you see? ¿Qué, grama, ¿Qué gramática hay ahí en, en toda esa parte? En present continuo. Present continuo. Do we have simple present? Simple present. Do, no, no, I mean, question. Do we have simple present? Um, yes or no? Mm. No. No. We we only have present continuous. Present continuous. Now second part. I what see. about this part? What what grammar do we have there? Simple present. Where, where do you see simple present? Can you read the part where where people do simple present there? You should get you should write. Right. Can you please read the, the simple present present statements? Pueden ayudarme a leer las las oraciones que están en presente simple. I see. Okay, can you please Daniel? I see. La primera. I see, all right. Aha, uh -huh. that is that the only one? Um, work. I usually get to your workplace. Uh, okay, so actually, uh, okay, actually. so what what about the the other one? Can must be in present simple. What's the first things you do? Um, you do. You do. 
I usually uh, I'll, I'll do I usually arrive. I usually arrive, okay. I arrive. And I arrive. Pretty good. Now the whole expression, this is this is let me see. This Where is the whole you to your workplace. This one and this one simple present, right? Hey, what time do you usually get to, to your workplace? What's the first thing you do? Simple present. I usually arrive at 6 30. First thing I do, simple present. Where to be in present is to you, check my email. Okay. And you now when I arrive, simple present. Now, if you see that the conversation is divided, right? Si se fijan, la conversación está dividida en, 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 en dos, ¿verdad? La primera parte, presente progresivo, y la segunda en presente simple, para que nosotros nos demos cuenta que cuando hablamos, o cuando se habla en inglés o en cualquier otro idioma, utilizamos tiempos, diferentes tiempos, ¿ok? Eso es algo que hay que, hay que irlo, este, ¿cómo les dijera? Hay que, hay que irlo practicando mucho, ¿ok? Y, e identificando cuáles son nuestras ideas. Ok, si, lo que, si nuestra idea la queremos decir en presente simple, presente progresivo, ok, pasado, que es lo que van a ver después, futuro, etc. Pero en este caso, presente simple y presente progresivo. Now, uh, well, no, this, uh, uh, we're not going to work with this, we're going to work with this part, ok. Yes. Now, I have something on here that's like a chart. We're gonna read it quickly because I have a presentation on uh, about the, the main difference between simple present and present continuous. We use simple present for general information, routine activities, simple present. I check my email every morning. He writes reports about meeting. He audits inventories. They arrange meetings, simple present. Now, on the other side, we have, uh, we use present continuous for doing, for on, ongoing actions at the present time, at the time of picking, or yesterday we studied about future, future also, right? So I am planning a video conference. They are getting the documents ready. She is editing the, the, the information. The secretary is making a, a phone call. Okay, so, well, we're going to practice a little bit with this. Vamos a practicar. Esta es la primera práctica. Okay, so you help me, people. Ayúdenme a completarlo, por favor. Sure, the meeting with the bus right now. Okay, complete the sentences in present continuous. So, very, very easy because you. We, we are going to use only present continuous. Now, Thomas is printing the contract. Cheryl, uh huh? Meeting. Meeting. Cheryl, meeting. Okay, Cheryl, meeting. Okay. Is that right? Cheryl. Is it's meeting. Oh. Okay, people, don't forget about the verb to be. Don't say only meeting. No, is. is. It's, it's very meeting. important. It is very important for you to remember about the verb to be. Okay. Cheryl meeting? No, Cheryl is meeting with the boss. Let me see. Let me see, because I need to see the whole, the whole exercise. Oops. Yeah, I think it can be this. Yeah. Can you see there? Can you see people? Yeah. Yeah, Cheryl is meeting. Meeting. Yeah, I'm sure it's meeting with, with the boss right now. Number two, he take care of everything. He is taking. He is taking. Taking, taking care. 
taking care. care of everything. He's taking care of everything. Uh, I pay attention to the instructions. Uh -huh. Hello. Hello, are you there, people? I pay attention to the instructions. Paying. Uh, okay, paying, paying. Uh huh. I paying attention to the instruction. I am. I am. I am. Once again, I am. Okay, I am paying attention to the instruction. She prepared the briefing. He's preparing. He's she preparing. is preparing. He's preparing. Is preparing. She's preparing the briefing. Number six. This is the last one. They send the product to the where they are sending. They are they, sending. They, they are, are sending. sending. Good. The product to the warehouse. Pretty good. Now, let me see. Hope you already finished with it. Let me see. Right. Well, right in the boxes, the activity you usually do on Monday morning. Well, we're going to continue with this part later, okay? Because, well, uh, this is simple present, okay? It's a simple present. Uh, we have uh, we have practiced about it, okay, every single morning, okay, uh, but we're going to continue with it later on. What really matters to me is to share the information that I have gotten over here. Now we're going to see the difference between both present simple, present continuous, okay? So you need to be or to pay special attention to this. Thank you for your attention. Good yeah, Lord. now what do we have here? The topic, oh, here percentage. we are going to compare. Let me see. Oh, I'm sorry to know about it, Mario. Try, try to get concentrated, okay? Or if you have some problems, okay, keep connected, but because later on you will see the video, right? And you will be able to listen to it clearly. But please stay connected. Hey, present simple or present continuous. We're going to see the difference between both of them. So here we go. Now, if I say I, I teach English, this is my job. What is this tense? Simple present. Simple present. I am teaching English. This is what I am doing at the moment. I am teaching you English now. Uh huh. Present simple. Present continuous. Present continuous. Okay. So far so good. Let's continue with some more examples. They live in the USA. Simple present. Simple present. present. I am studying for the exams these days. And same okay, now over here we're going to see in detail the way we use both tenses, right? So they live in the USA. What does it mean, people? It means that they live in the USA all the time. It is a permanent state. So when do we use simple present? I will want to talk about permanent states, okay? Permanent states. I am studying for the exam these days. What does it mean? It means that I'm studying only these several days. The action, and this is the key, the action is taking place only for a short period of time. It is, uh, this is, this is like, you know, Yesterday, I told you, right? Hey, you know, in English, we use present continuous to talk uh, or to describe something we are doing at the moment of talking. That was the first one. 
The second one, we use present continuous when we want to talk about future activities. Okay, and but this one, look at this one. The action is taking place only for a short period of time. And the person says, I'm starting only for these several days. Continuing action. He is starting on Monday. He is starting on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So let's imagine, right? It's for a week. So he's studying for the English test for this week or during this week, right? Okay, of course, he is going to make some pauses right during the day because, but this is a different way to use present continuous. Now, how do we form the present simple? You know, subject pronouns, the verb, okay, first person, second person, third person, and our first person plural, third person plural, third person singular. Third person singular, third person singular, and we already know about what happens to the verbs, okay? Now, I live in the USA, and, and she studies architecture. The verb to be, okay? As you can see, we're just getting back to everything. Remember the form of the verb to be, or the verb be, for the present simple tense. I am, he, she, it, is, we you, they are. I am a teacher and you are students. Negative statements. <laughs> but over here now, listen carefully. Because we have negative statements, but with, with simple present, right? Over here, we have the verb to be, which is the present form of the verb to be. Aquí es donde, donde este, la vez anterior, al, por ahí alguien ocupó, no me recuerdo cómo fue el ejemplo, se ocupó da o, 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 o do y luego puso am o fue algo así, pero ocuparon las dos cosas. Entonces, eso no puede suceder, ¿ok? No puede suceder que ocupen ambas cosas. Porque esto es la forma presente del verbo be, ¿ok? Es la forma presente. Ya vimos que, que Cómo se conjuga de manera diferente. Si quiero hacer preguntas, no digo das I. No, entonces, am I? Is he? Is she? Are we? Ok. But we never use. Uh, ah, ya me recordé cómo, cómo, fue, el, cómo fue el ejemplo. Era como, I don't. I don't. I. Uh, yeah, uh, I am, I am don't, algo así parece, I am don't, ok, eso, eso no se puede, ok, mm -hmm. por eso es que yo les decía al inicio, identifiquen bien lo que van a decir y qué estructura necesitan usar, ok, eso es al inicio, ya después automáticamente surgen la, las oraciones y de manera muy fluida, ya van a ver. Okay, then we have, so over here, simple present, right? When we have simple present, we need to use auxiliary do or does. And if we want to make it negative statement, we use not, done, does, and plus a verb, a verb, okay? Example, I live in the USA. I don't live in the USA. He studies architecture. He doesn't study architecture. Okay, we already know about the grammar and about the rules, right? So this is only a review. For the verb be, simply add the, the word not after the verb, okay? This is what I was telling you, right? You don't say, I don't am. No, impossible. I am tired. I am not tired. She is rich. She is not rich. They are here. They are not here. Just, just that, right? So in other words, questions and, and short answer. So we form question by putting auxiliary do, does, simple present or any form of the verb be before the subject. Do you live in the USA? Yes, I do, but no, I don't. So this is something that's important for me because uh, you need to get accustomed to um, using the, the auxiliary when answering, right? So if I ask you, hey, do you live in the USA? You say, yes, no, no. Do you, you need to say, yes, I do, no, I don't. But use the auxiliaries, okay? 
Now, does she study medicine? Yes, she does or no, she doesn't. Are they friends? Yes, they are. No, they aren't. Simple present of the verb be, and I mean present form of the verb be and simple present. Now, we use present simple just for you to remember, and we're we are we are going to have some exercises soon. Okay, so we use present simple. When do we use simple present, people? Hello, hello. Are you there? Yeah, when do we use present simple? For facts or things that are always or generally true. Water boils at 100 degrees Fahrenheit. It rains a lot in Lithuania. The sky is blue. Okay, sometimes the sky seems to be white, blue, but that is a true. We use present simple for situations that are more or less permanent. I live in New York. Young works in a bank. Lisa yes. studies architecture. Simple present. Permanent situations. We use present simple for things we do regularly. Hobbies, habits, and routines. Every day I get up at 7.30. I take a shower and eat breakfast. Then I take the bus to work. Every Thursday, I play basketball. We use present simple also for actions that are scheduled. Scheduled. The train leaves at nine. The lessons start, the lessons start at eight o'clock in the morning. Well, and I, and I will teach you this, okay? So because I remember something related to this, okay? Later, we're gonna see it better. Uh, well, I will say then, uh, I, I will teach you over here, like, I, I will provide examples so that you can see that you can sometimes, when, when having a scale activities, you can use present simple for, for future things also. How come? Well, you may say like the bus or the train, the train, the one that we have there, the train lives at, at 9 p.m. p.m. What about if I if I include this? Tomorrow. Podría ser, se podría ocupar, ¿qué creen ustedes? Yes, mm -hmm. Is it possible? Mm -hmm. Uh, give me a second. Um, train. Train is... Yes, uh, give me a second, please, because I need to explain something to you there. The train. Yes. Lives. Is falta teacher. Is is missing? Is falta the después the train. Ah, okay. Give me a second, please. Mm -hmm. uh, this this is an option, right? So let me see. Now the train is leaving at 9 p.m. 
at 9 p.m. But if I include the water here tomorrow, what do you think? Leaves. Now listen, I will I will get to that point so that you, you can identify this, okay? Uh the train is leaving at 9 p.m. Okay, futuro, verdad? Eso ya lo vimos. Ahora podemos usar presente simple para futuro. Sí, pero cuando hablamos de actividades que ya están establecidas en un horario. Es como cuando hablamos en español y decimos, ¿y a qué hora sale el bus? Sale, ok, sale. No es que decimos a qué hora va a salir, ok, también podemos decir, pero en español ocupamos presentes simples. No se habían dado cuenta en eso. Entonces en inglés también podemos hacer eso. The train leaves, miren, el tren sale mañana, ¿a qué hora? A las nueve. Entonces sí se puede, pero en el caso es específico, en donde ya está la actividad okay, establecida en un horario. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok. So we are trying to analyze everything. So that's the purpose, ¿ok? Next one. Now we have some arbitrary of frequency and time phrases or time expressions, right? So we have studied that. Okay, uh, do me the favor to read, people, because I need to check uh, pronunciation. Always. 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 Often. Often. Usually. 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 Sometimes. 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 Um, rarely. Rarely. Never. Never. Once, Once a week. Once a week. Twice, twice a month, a month. Twice a month. Every, day. every day, every day, every Thursday, every Thursday. Now, is the adverb of frequency are used with? Con qué vamos a ocupar la 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 frequency adverbs? Con presente progresivo o con simple present? Um. Simple present, right? So we have an example over here, right? I never go. Hello. My grandmother sees her doctor, sees her doctor twice a month. Okay, no hay ejemplo con presente progresivo, okay? Now, on the other hand, we have, how do we form present continuous? Well, you know, subject, Prefer to be in another very naive form. That's it, right? I am, you are, he is, she is, it is, we are, you are, and they are eating, playing, singing, studying, traveling, talking, shouting, and reading, right? So whenever you have subject, prefer to be in an naive form, you already know that that's present continuum. All right? So question, ¿podemos usar el dual das en alguna manera aquí? Yes or no? Mm. ¿A qué pertenece el do y el das? Simple present. present. Ah, simple no. present. Aquí no, aquí no. Aquí no lo necesitamos, ¿ok? Ok, so, fíjense muy bien, ¿ok? Por eso estamos haciendo la comparación. Now, are you eating? I am not eating. Is she singing? She's not singing. Are, are they reading? They are not reading. Okay, negative forms and questions, okay? Present continuous, when do we use it? Ya vimos algunas maneras de cómo utilizar o en qué situación se utiliza el presente simple. Ahora presente continuo, miren. Hey, first, for actions happening, happening, happening. Now. Now, now happening. Now. At the moment. At the moment of, speak, of speaking. ¿Cuál hace falta? Cierto. 
Ah, future. Future, que es lo que nos concentramos ayer. Nos enfocamos ayer. Future. That's missing right here. So we use it for actions happening now at the moment of speaking. And we also use it for future statements, all right? So that's the first. Next, well, we have some examples here. It is raining outside. Uh, he can pick up the phone. He's, he's taking a shower now. Uh, he's taking a shower, so it's impossible. We also use it for temporary actions. The example I told you above, right? We are looking for a new house at the moment. They are painting the fence, okay? They're painting the fence. Next one, for fixed arrangements, uh, this is that for, for future, right? For fixed arrangements, plans in the near future, near future. Like over here specifies near future. I'm going out with him tonight. We are flying to Paris tomorrow morning. Tomorrow no morning, you see? Near future. Tonight. Near future. We also use it for currently changing and developing situation. Example, the earth is getting hotter and hotter. The winters in Lithuania are becoming warmer and warmer. The prices are increasing all the time. What are those? For currently changing and developing situation. Okay. Time expression we use with present continuous. Okay, we use now at the moment at present. At present these days, uh huh. What else? What else? Right people? now. Right now. Tonight. Okay. Today. Now my mother is cooking at the moment. I am going dancing tonight. Now over here, uh, could we use usually? Often, yes or no? No, right. So those expressions are for simple present, is it? Present continue. Okay, just to make the difference between both of them, okay? Present simple, general truth. Present simple, routines and habits. Present simple, permanent situation. Present simple, timetables. Present continuous, what is happening now. Present continuous, changing or developing situations. Present continuous, pre temporary situations, and also fixed future, future right. plans. Okay, now we can see everything now. Y ahora sí ya podemos ver el mapa completo entre estas dos estructuras. Okay. Now, now tell me. Tell me, please. You're gonna help me with this with this exercise. Help me with this exercise, people. Number one. You, we need to choose only one option, right? Live. I'm leaving. I live in New York. I am living in New York. What's the best option? I live in New York. I live in New York. What about number two? You want to drink coffee? Do you, want, do you want to drink coffee? Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> she is reading a book. And she's <laughs> reading a book. Okay. <laughs> it says now, right? So we have the time expression also. <laughs> Number three. <laughs> don't like. Um, I don't like. Don't like football. I, I don't like football. I don't. Okay. Number four. Every day, we go to school. We go to school. Okay. Number five. 
It's raining outside. It's raining. It is raining outside. It is raining outside. It is raining outside. Number six. Right. Do you ride Yo, a, you a ride cycle? A man? A bicycle. You ride a bicycle. Okay, Every... now you, you see the example, right? So this is impossible. <clears throat> okay, who's the example that I put here? So do you ride a bicycle every morning? Okay, number seven. I usually go to the bed late. Excellent. I usually go to the bed late. Number eight. This is saying. Sorry? He's, he's staying. Okay, because he says the time expression is about these days, right? Yeah. Number nine. The sun rises. General truth. The sun rises in the east. Number 10. We are traveling. We are traveling. We are traveling to London next week. Okay. Very good. So do me the favor to, to type it. Okay. Hágame el favor de copiarlos, de escribirlos. Por lo menos cinco. Cinco. Okay. Que no se nos olvide eso de estar escribiendo, familiarizándonos más con la, la digitada o con la escritura. Cinco, las que ustedes quieran, de las seis a la diez o de la uno a la cinco, ¿ok? Do you finish? Yes. Okay, very good. Now, what are we going to do with this? 
What are we going to do with this? Well, if you chose this phi, or if you chose this phi, okay, let us create like a, a, a presentation, okay? A presentation, this may be invented, right? Because, well, you can start like saying, van a, van a escribir un párrafo, okay? Independientemente de, de cuáles oraciones escribieron, okay? Nos vamos a imaginar que es una persona la que está hablando, que ya no son ejemplos, sino que vamos a ir tratando de conectar esta idea con esta idea, esta idea con esta idea, esta idea con esta idea, y esta idea con esta idea. Lo mismo si los demás escribieron esta, ok, lo mismo, ir conectando las ideas a modo de hacer un párrafo. ¿Cómo comenzaría yo, por ejemplo? Yo diría, ok, I live in New York, I may start like, hey, my, you know, my name is Enrique Morales. I'm a, a, a teacher and I live in New York. I have a sister. I have a sister. And, and she is reading a book now because she is having her English test tomorrow. Well, you know, I'm a person that I, I don't like football. I prefer to play basketball. Every day I go to school and there I play basketball because I have some friends who, who really love basketball too. Last week we couldn't play basketball because it was raining. Now it's raining yet. Miren, me lo acabo de inventar. Ahora, yo sé que uh, le va a tomar que digamos que unos, unos siete minutos para crear ustedes su propia presentación, las ideas, cómo crear algo partiendo de las oraciones. Ustedes lo pueden co conectar. Las oraciones tienen que ir sí o sí, okay, pero ustedes le tienen que dar forma. ¿De acuerdo? Seven minutes, people. Tienen siete minutos y ya luego voy a pedir participación. Seven minutes, seven, seven. Any question? Any question about what we are doing now? Any question, people? Hello? Hello, are you there? Michael, can you listen to me? Yes, it's you. Uh, okay, any question, Michael? Any question. Okay, Aidan? No question. Excellent. Now, if you have any question, now please let me know it. Hope everything's all right. Se seven minutes, people. Then I will get back.
Okay. <clears throat> Are you ready? Hello, hello. Well, I will stop sharing because I, I, I need to listen to you, okay? Okay. Now, once again, now this is the opportunity for you to share uh, your, your activities, what you have done so far, the way you have practiced, okay? So you have, we, we're gonna listen to you for about 10 minutes. After those 10 minutes, we are going to, we're going to gather in groups once again, okay? Okay, invertamos que 10, 10, 12 minutos, invertámoslos, invertámoslos en, en práctica. Quiero escuchar qué es lo que ustedes han creado, ok? Ok. okay. Bueno, yo más o menos logré escribir algo. Ahorita okay. lo leo. I am Daniel. I am an English student. I live in New York. And my mother lives in Mexicanos. She is reading a book now. I have a uh, one brother. He likes play football, but I don't like football. And I have a song. Every day we go to school. When it is raining outside, we don't go to school. <laughs> wow. Congratulations. Very good. Excellent. Now, what is that? ¿Cómo le llamamos a eso? Le llamamos conectar ideas. Fíjense que las oraciones, así por así, no o sea, como que no tenía mucho sentido solo leerlas, pero cuando le damos que una idea generalizada de, de, un, um, de una situación, pues entonces ya, ya toma sentido todo. Pretty good. I really like that one, Tania. Anybody else, ok? Vamos a gastarnos 10 diez, diez minutos, ¿ok? Quiero escucharlos a todos. Ok, if you are ready, just uh, let us know and start reading what you have. Thank you, Aníbal. Go ahead. Uh, my name is Aníbal López. A pleasure uh, to greet you. I have uh, I live in San Salvador, but uh, I have I have a sister. She's reading a book now, but also I don't like football because it is very dangerous. Uh, it's, it's raining, it is it is raining outside all over San Salvador. Very good. <laughs> Great job, Eniva. Now you see you can do it, right? Thank you. No, thank you for doing your best. Thank you. Okay, let's take advantage of this time, people. Time to practice. Okay. okay. Thank you, Belen. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, hi, Luis. Uh, what's up? I'm fine. And you? Uh, I'm fine, thank you. What is your from? I live in New York. Really, it's a beautiful phrase. What are you doing right now? I'm reading a book about football. Oh, really? I don't like football. Uh, what do you usually do? Every day, we go to school by bus with my friends because it's raining uh, outside. Wow, awesome. That was a different that was different because you created a, a conversation, right? Good. You are very creative. Veo que son muy creativos, okay? No me imagino lo fantástico que va a estar el viernes esto. <laughs> okay. Okay, let us take tomemos ventaja del tiempo, porfa, porque esta es pura práctica. Necesito escucharlo. Thank you, Veronice. Well, I prefer living in New York. It's a big city, and my sister is studying at near college. She's reading a book now because she has a test tomorrow. 
Uh, my friends invited me to watch play of football, but I don't like it. I, in the morning, go to the school with my son. She doesn't like the raining days. <laughs> she, she doesn't like when it's raining. Okay. Uh, rainy days, rainy days. Okay. Rainy days. Very good. Very nice. Very creative, right? Different situations. Okay. But the same, hey, you see, different stories, but the same sentences. Eso es, lo, eso es lo bonito. Diferentes historias utilizando las mismas oraciones. Good. Anybody else? Bless you, Berenice. Edgar, go ahead. Teacher, I made a paragraph, but only using certain part of the same the sentence. Okay. Uh, well, uh, my name is Edgar. I live in Morazán. I go to work every, every day, but when I get to work, I see the security staff wearing their wearing reading their chief report. Uh, Afterward, I go running, running every day because I don't like to spend the after, afternoon in my house. And usually, I go to bed around 11 p.m. I plan to travel to visit my mom this coming weekend because I have not I have not seen her for a long time. What well, that what that's about the second part, right? <laughs> Wow, hey, that was awesome. I can see the, the expression that you that you used. Pretty good, eh, Edgar. Excellent Thanks, job. Excellent job, Edgar. Congratulations. Thanks, teacher. Thank you. Anybody else? We still have six minutes. Six minutes. I would really appreciate you participate and practice what you or, or present what you have created. Don't be afraid. Six minutes more. And then we're, we're going to, I will, I will create the, the, the groups so that you can work. So I will give you 20 minutes tonight. I think it's better than 15. Anybody else? People? Five minutes. Yes, teacher. Okay, go ahead, Michael. Uh, I'm living in New York with my family, and my sister is reading a book of the history. As well, she don't like football at night but she goes every day to school to learn she rides my bicycle my bicycle every day at morning in my town is raining right now why wow, good michael awesome hey michael i can see that you that i can see your progress michael Puedo, puedo notar su, los avances yo los noto, en realidad los voy notando eh, Michael, remember dice, she don't or she doesn't she doesn't ah, ok, so correct that part, please correct that she part That's, yeah, does. correct it, please Michael, don't yeah. forget it ok, anybody else Anybody else? Well, let's see. Uh, I still have something over here. Okay, so, <clears throat> you know, coming back to the PDF, I, I will just uh, ask you to, to do something over here, right? Uh, para el día de mañana, por favor, me completan este ejercicio, ok, este ejercicio, y también el ejercicio relacionado a la conversación. 
Ok, hasta acá, hasta el ejercicio 4. Para mañana. Ok, I don't know if there is any question. Antes de irnos a los grupos. Voy a estar ingresando a los grupos así calladito, solo voy a estar escuchando. Ok, yo no me muevo de aquí, de, de esta silla. Me gusta estar escuchando, analizando cómo trabajan, ¿ok? Hagamos que el tiempo sea productivo en cada uno de los grupos, ¿ok? Por aquí tengo los listados. Voy a crear los grupos así como lo, como lo ordene Zoom y luego voy a, voy a verificar que queden así como, <ríe> como el día de ayer. Así que, pues, si usted queda en un grupo diferente y de repente aparece en otro, es porque yo los he movido, ¿ok? Are you ready? So, vamos con los grupos, entonces.
y vamos a utilizar gente continuo y los días de la semana, ¿verdad? Yo no sé. O podemos Sí, eso agregar. sí, lo, yo tengo incluido lo, un día de la semana. Ajá. Y ahí tengo Presente simple, pero no. Simple Present y tengo el, el, el imperativo. De ahí los demás días sería agregarle tal vez alguna otra actividad con alguna otra, con algún otro tiempo de, de los verbos. Bueno, no sé. Si, si usted eh, quiere el día lunes, entonces está bien. Me quedo con el día de lunes. ¿pa? El día lunes creo que. O podría ser también un día viernes, ya que va a entregar reportes, va a enviar cosas, entonces, como cierre de semana. Como cierre de semana también lo podemos dejar. Ajá. Bueno, otras actividades que, que lo demás podría ser que trabajo o que tiene otra actividad O ese compromisos día. familiares o personales también. Sí, sí, correcto. Eh, Entonces, si sí, los demás estarían... Ah, ya, está, creo que estamos conectados. Daniel, Maribel Rivas. Ajá. Bueno, Sí, Maribel yo creo que Rivas. así están todas, todos, perdón. Creo que un poco. Ajá. Mario, sí, Ronan, Veraliz. Solo faltaría... Oscar, Oscar, sí. Oscar. Ajá. Pero no sé quién más sugiere algo de los presentes. Ahí los partners. A ver si me puede crear a Aníbal, usted que no va al grupo de WhatsApp. Hola. Adán, lo, eh, Edgar lo, lo está creando, lo creó. Pero Adán no me apareció, me dice que lo ah, invite okay. nomás. No sé por qué. Lo, lo Adán, tiene, Adán. lo tiene, privado. Lo tiene privado, no quiere que nadie lo moleste. <risa> <risa> Ya, ya, ya está igual a Berenice que nunca me aparecía. Lo siento, es privado. <ríe> no, pero nunca apareció después. <ríe> With picture. Without picture. Aníbal, Aníbal usted mandó. El... Aníbal. Ese es lo que yo mandé, esa es mi, mi mini historia. Que... Pero usted la mandó al grupo de. de al general de lo mandé. Al general lo mandé. ¿Cierto? O lo, o lo vuelvo a mandar, o lo mando al grupo. Le van a robar la idea y ahí. Sí, cabal, mándale a Maribel me, me, lo, me lo, lo reenvió. Thank you, Maribel. Entonces, ¿cuál sería la, la idea principal que, que, en la que nos basaríamos? Yo digo que para que sigamos planteando la misma, la que dijiste ayer de, de una reunión. Una excursión, como dijimos. Ajá. Sí. Y vamos a, a participar nos todos. Reunimos. Nos, nos hablábamos y todo eso. Gladys dice que la sacó de la... de la sesión por si me escuchan Gladys, Gladys ok, Gladys ayer, ayer, ayer éramos nueve Gladys pertenece al grupo dos, si, si, si mal no recuerdo sí, Ay, bueno, sí, sí, me, mandó, me mandó un mensaje ayer estuvo con nosotros ayer estuvo acá sí. eh, no ah. de lo que tomé notas sí, estaba Pero, ahí estuvo Claudia Teresa, Gladys, Edgar, sí. Okay. Adam, Adam. 
Okay, Gladys over here, okay. Gladys. Yeah, I'm sorry. Gladys okay. Rubidia. Yeah. Gladys Rubidia. Entonces, ¿cuál lago vamos a ir? Dijimos. O a cuál río, o a cuál. Y si se hace, así como lo que estamos haciendo, vaya, una clase de inglés y que uno sea el profesor y así todos van a participar y el profesor se presenta. Ver quién iría primero, quién va a ir después, o sea, y tratar de ver la, la, la secuencia de de la situación vea uh -huh. eh, bueno sí por eso quizás sí sería bueno de que cada crear el documento un... ah sí eso del documento sí está bien yo creo que ahorita sí, quizás podríamos armar lo que va a ser el, el bueno la participación la, lo que vamos a presentar no sé entonces, si, si todos están de acuerdo o alguien más que tiene alguna otra idea o sugiere alguna otra cosa, sería Habría bueno. que asignar ya de un solo, digo yo, así aleatoria, aleatoriamente. <risa> Porque bueno, al final que... Eh, creo que los compañeros este, no, no están eh, todos sí, ahorita acá. Entonces, no vamos a, a, a esperar. ¿ve? Simplemente, eh, no sé, alguien que les pueda avisar que escriban algo en relación al día que les asignaron para después unir la información porque ya el tiempo se nos acaba correcto sí, sí. ya hoy es martes no tengo un orden acá eh, por ejemplo según el, el cómo estábamos ayer ¿qué se les parece? Ajá. Eh, tengo a Daniel a Veralí, su persona María Elba, Mario, Oscar, Ronald y al final estoy yo. Ah, si bueno. Si quieren que Daniel lleve el lunes, usted el martes, María Elba vale. miércoles, Mario jueves, Oscar y así. Sí, así que quedamos ya de un solo para que así considero yo que tal vez en un su ratito, en unos sus minutitos que tengan, pues puedan empezar a armar lo que van a, lo que van a decir cada uno. Y esto tenemos que presentarlo. Bueno, creo que lo vamos a construir estos días que faltan para presentarlo el día viernes. Entonces Ajá. tenemos... Mañana de mandarlo, sería de mandarlo mañana para armarlo. A más creo tardar sí. el jueves, tenerlo armado. Para Ajá, y practicarlo una, el jueves. Practicar ¿sí? el mismo jueves, cabal. Correcto. Y Vaya, pero... Entonces se lo mandamos a Jonathan o... o, o... Yo digo ah. que sí. Bueno. Eh, Jonathan va a ser el encargado. Creo que, no, es no. el elegido Jonathan el elegido de la Híjole, es un halago pero bueno, no sé realmente eh, mi trabajo bastante creo que está un poco hola bien. compañero, yo no sé en qué quedaron pero no hasta ahorita pude ingresar eh, nuevamente al grupo eh, en resumen María este, estamos como asignando un día cada uno, vamos a hacer como una reunión de ex compañeros, tal vez de clase puede ser, creería yo que así de, de clase, o sea una reunión de la vieja escuela y oh, de clase de inglés ajá, ajá. entonces este, vamos a asignar un día cada uno en el que diga, ah tal día no puedo asistir porque tengo que hacer esto, esto, me toca presentar esto, un ejemplo me piden esto, mi horario no me lo permite, yo puedo salir tal día ¿verdad? Y la así. cosa es que todos vamos a incluir que podemos el sábado por ejemplo Como bueno yo al, al final de lo, ah, para reunirnos ajá para reunirnos ejemplo, el día de semana no puedo reunirme ¿eh? en lo que yo había escrito entonces al final puse I'm sorry y también le agregué please let's meet on Saturday o sea, por favor reunámonos el sábado los demás también le pueden agregar algo así que de preferencia nos reunamos sábado y quedamos todos aquel sábado, vamos al zoológico entonces. 
So, who or so? Al so. Ya tiene. Ahí vamos a hacer todos los compañeros de los animales. Cabal. Perdón, es ahí. la idea ir presentando a los animales que hay en el zoológico y hacer el ruido que hacen los animales. Sí. <risa> ok. Yo creo que sería que... mejor así, ¿ve? en este aspecto. Eh, ah, sí. Ponerse así. A mí me gusta tal sonido que hace tal animal. Y ya lo hace uno. Ah. <risa> Eso podría ser también. Puede sí. O cuando también, ya estamos ¿no? todos reunidos en el zoológico, busca... cada quien escoge. A mí me gusta X animal. Y me un animal y hacer... para, para animales pues, diferentes. Pues sí, porque esa sería la temática. Ajá, cabal. Entonces uno dice, ah, bueno, a mí me gusta el león porque le hace así. A mí me gusta tal cosa porque le hace así. Entonces, eso sería uno. Mi diálogo prácticamente es mi, mi tiempo de trabajo, ¿verdad? O sea, uh -huh. yo Correcto. visito clientes. No, ajá, es que eso, eso es lo que uno tiene que escribir. Ahí sí, es donde uno va a aplicar lo que hemos aprendido en estas semanas. El, el, siempre utilizando de... el present simple y el present continuo, ajá, ¿verdad? Acabar. Correcto, correcto. El ah, how okay. to, el need to. Uh -huh. Bueno, y pero... las indicaciones que nos han dado de, de la imperativo. El imperativo, cabal, este. exacto, Ajá. exacto, así. Imperativo. El imperativo. Ajá, las cumple. indicaciones que hay que seguir, pues. Que le, Ajá, las órdenes que le dan a uno o que uno da para que, que decida hacer algo. Ah, Ajá, okay. o, que, o que necesita hacer algo. O que ne Ajá, cabal, que necesita. Uh -huh. <risa> Okay, okay, people. How was it tonight? <laughs> how are you doing? How was how was it? The team. Vamos a ir necesitando más tiempo. Ah, uh, I knew, <laughs> I knew. Saben qué me leyeron la mente. Justo eso estaba pensando. Uh, y estaba viendo los temas. Y si ustedes se fijan, el día viernes hay práctica. ¿Verdad? Entonces, justamente pensé en eso. Eh, ahora les agregué cinco minutos más, trabajaron 20. Y el viernes, como tenemos dos horas de pura práctica, la primera hora va a ser completa para que trabajen en grupo. Yo los voy a estar ahí este, observando, que, que trabajen, porque va a ser la última, una hora con 60 minutos completitos para que ustedes afinen esa historia. O sea, yo lo voy a ver en premisa, yo voy a ser el primero que me voy a estar, ¿verdad? Y ya de ahí lo presentan al, al, al grupo completo, ¿ok? Entonces ese día, imagínense, van a tener 60 minutos, creo que va a ser suficiente, ¿verdad? Más los 20 que, ay, bueno, ayer les, les di 15, hoy 20, mañana 20, y así hasta llegar hasta, hasta el viernes. ¿Creería que es suficiente? Porque ese, también no podemos dejar de lado lo, los temas que, que nos competen, ¿verdad? En cada sesión. No sé si, si les parece. Okay. Sí, porque necesitamos practicar también. Ok, sí, eso. eso van a tener el día viernes completito, lo van a tener, ¿ok? Este, una hora completita. Pura práctica. Y todo encaja bien porque este, una hora de práctica que ustedes están terminando de afinar algunos detalles y ya después presentar. Va a quedar súper. No sé si hay alguna pregunta, algún comentario, algo que quieran agregar. Richard, sí, perdón por este, con lo del viernes, eh, como han decretado a sueto, no sé si va a absor absorber el, la clase o no sé, o siempre la recibiríamos. A sueto que tenemos el viernes. Por la es que han decretado a suelto nacional. Uy, Pero, esa noticia sí me la había buena, perdido yo. Para... <risa> Pero. Solo usted va a trabajar. Solo el de... Pero es que yo... va a trabajar. De... Pero Pero vaya, el... Miren, como nosotros estamos sujetos a, a las indicaciones de, de... Que, nos, que nos brindan, ¿verdad? Si ellos nos dicen que vamos a 
a trabajar, trabajamos, ¿ok? Ah, no, Pero no. si, si en su momento, o sea, el jueves se le, se le va a decir a usted, yo voy a preguntar mañana. Ok, sí, porque an anteriormente cuando no, no, van a dar, no van a dar clases, nos avisaban como una hora antes, parece que no, no, va, a, no va a haber clases. Vaya, ¿verdad? si no hay clases, pues lucky you, sobre todo ustedes, porque les va a tocar hasta el lunes. Bueno, 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 bueno. Creo que por ese camino vamos. Okay. <risa> Pero el lunes, bueno, ya, ya el lunes ya iríamos directamente a eso para no invertir sí. más tiempo en otras, eh, o sea, quitarle más tiempo a otras cosas que también son prioridad. Correcto. Ok. Eh, entonces lo dejamos pendiente para mañana. Yo mañana les, les doy la noticia si sí o si no, ok. Okay. Okay. So let's see tomorrow and have a good night. Good night, everybody. Everybody. Good night. Good night.